Hi folks! So this week we're thinking about ANOVA, and the book has a number of chapters devoted to ANOVA, but we're just doing a kind of high-level overview of a few of the concepts that I think are the most important. Um, basically, what I want you to know from this class is that ANOVA and linear regression are functionally the same thing, although some uh, special experimental designs can allow you to do very particular things with ANOVA. So uh, ANOVA stands for Analysis of Variance, and it's basically a way to think about variance within a group versus variance among a group. Um, and when people say ANOVA, uh, what they really mean is linear regression that only uses categorical predictors. So we're going to start with the simplest case, which is one-way ANOVA, and that's just linear regression, so it's got a quantitative response variable and one categorical predictor. And for this situation, we're just going to use the group means as the predictions for every single category. So let's think about this example. Um, this is an example of some data related to methods of foaming espresso. And so there's three different methods that you can use to foam it espresso. I guess there's the bar method, there's the hyper espresso method, and then there's the espresso system. And uh, then we have something called foam index, which is, I guess, a measure of how foamy the espresso turns out to be. I think bigger numbers are better. So it looks like hyper espresso method has a higher mean than these other groups. Um, and if we were going to try to do a prediction, you know, a Y hat for an espresso made with uh, the bar method, I would just predict that it was going to be 32.4, uh, whatever the units of foam index are. Uh, so it wouldn't matter how hot the water was or whether I was making a latte or an Americano. Uh, the only thing that matters is the method that was used to make the espresso, and we would expect it to be 32.4 foam, uh, foam score. Um, and then if we made it using the hyper espresso method, our prediction, our Y hat would be uh, 61.3 for all of those espressos. And for the ones made with espresso system, we'd predict 39.7 for all of those espressos. So the, the piece that I haven't talked to you about yet is this kind of algebra, which has to do with the three ways that you can write the same model. And again, this model is super simple. It's basically just means, and in the example that I gave you, it's just three different means. But there's three ways to write it. So there's one way, which is the ANOVA way, um, which is gonna have group effects. And then there's the linear regression way, which has a reference group. And then there's the super basic way, which is just the means. So uh, I think uh, hopefully you have an idea of what it would mean to just use the means. I think we've spent a lot of time talking about linear regression so far in this class. So the part that's maybe new is the ANOVA way. And so what happens with the ANOVA way is you have a grand mean, that's your overall mean, and then you have group effects, uh, alpha sub i's. And so a particular prediction is the grand mean plus the group effect. And uh, we could have i equal one, two, three, however many groups, and we denote the number of groups i. I'll apologize in advance. I think some of my notation is going to get a little sloppy um, in this video, so if you catch inconsistencies, feel free to ask me about them. So let's make this more com concrete by thinking about it with the espresso example. So I'm realizing I didn't give you the grand mean, uh, so I'm just gonna give that to you right now. So the overall Y bar, the average foaminess of all the espressos was 44.5. And then I also have the group means down here. Um, and so maybe we'll start at the bottom and work our way up. So if we were gonna use the very simple uh, basic means way, I would say y, y hat for bar method is gonna be equal to 32.4. Y hat for hyper espresso is 61.3. And Y hat for espresso system 
is 39.7. We'll move that up a little bit. And then if we were going to think about the linear regression way, I could write out the one big equation. So y hat is equal to 32.4 plus 28.9 times, uh, I don't know, method hyper espresso plus 7.3, I got to move this whole thing, times method espresso system. Uh, but I could also write it out as the three separate equations. So again, if it was y hat bar method, that would be 32.4, and I'd plug in zero for uh, hyper espresso, zero for espresso system, so those terms would drop away. If I was gonna do y hat for hyper espresso, it would be 32.4, plus 28.9 times one, plus this times zero, so that term would drop away. And if I wanted to, I could combine those terms, and that should turn out to be 61.3. Apparently I need to move some things again, because they're getting squished. All right, and then we could do y hat espresso system and that would be 32.4 plus zero in here, so that term would drop away, plus 7.3 times one, anything times one is itself, and this one should turn out to be 39.7. So I could write uh, the sort of overall equation. This would be my... Uh, my linear regression model, but then if I look at the individual uh, lines, quote unquote, um, they're going to turn out to be just the same as the means. And then the one that's new is the ANOVA method. And so the way the ANOVA method works is we say we've got uh, y hat is equal to the overall mean, which is 44.5. And then we do our, uh, our effects for each of the groups. So we have three group effects. Nothing gets baked into the intercept like it does with linear regression. So I've got 44.5 plus, actually minus, minus 12.1, let's round, times bar method, plus 16.83 times espresso, oh, hyper espresso, and I'll move this so I have some more room, uh, plus, nope, minus 4.8 times espresso system. Um, and again, so this is kind of the, the ANOVA way to write out the equation. Um, I'll just put a box around the, the means way as well. Um, but just the same with the ANOVA way, I could do, you know, y hat for bar method, and that would be 44.5 minus 12.1 times 1, plus this is times 0, that's times 0, so those terms would drop away, and this would turn out to be that 32.4, and I know that all of the other uh, mini equations are going to turn out the same. So we're always just predicting the mean. We just have three different ways to write out the equations. And this is the sort of task that I might give you on an exam is to ask you to show me how the equations would be written in the linear regression way, in the ANOVA way, or maybe just with the means. Um, and so if you were going to do it the ANOVA way, you'd need to start with the grand mean, the overall mean, and then have the differences from the mean um, for, for each of the groups. If you're going to do it the linear regression way, you'd have to pick a reference category, which in this ca uh, case is the bar method, and you'd put the mean for that reference category as your intercept, and then you'd do the difference between hyper espresso and bar method here and the difference between espresso system and method here. So these are comparisons to the reference group. These are comparisons to the grand mean, but these two 
our comparisons to the reference group. And with the means, we're not making any comparisons at all. We just have the means.